During the 2018 interview with 60 Minutes, Paul McCartney discussed the origins of the Beatles' Michelle. I had lots of these little things going, a lot of which were unfinished and didn't have any words. It was just a little thing, he recalled. I just knew the chords and knew the melody and everything, and the song Michelle, which was just really just me at parties, mainly at art school parties. John went to art school. So me and George were like the young kids who were kind of, you know, crashing the party, he added. John would say, come on, all right. So we wore roll neck sweaters and to try and look very French, and, and I'd often take the guitar and sit in the corner and start humming. Paul hoped girls at these parties would think he was French. He remembered how he finished Michelle. Years later, John did say, remember that crazy little French thing you had? You should finish that, Paul recalled. That's when Paul added lyrics to Michelle. Michelle was nominated for the 1967 Grammy Award for Song of the Year. It was up against Sinatra's Strangers in the Night. Richard Kiley's The Impossible Dream, Ray Conniff's Somewhere My Love, and Born Free, a song written by John Barry and Don Black. Michelle won the award. But Sinatra didn't go home empty-handed that night. His album, A Man and His Music, and The Beatles' Revolver were nominated for the Grammy Award for Album of the Year, and the former won. The Beatles did not release Michelle as a single in the U.S., so the song did not chart on the Billboard Top 100. Instead, Michelle appeared on the Beatles' Rubber Soul. Rubber Soul was number one for six of its 70 weeks on the Billboard 200. Meanwhile, Strangers in the Night became a bona fide hit. It peaked at number one for one of its 15 weeks on the Billboard Hot 100. The song appeared on the album of the same name, Strangers in the Night, and became Sinatra's only number one hit on the Billboard 200, being number one for one of its 73 weeks on the chart. Michelle and Strangers in the Night are both classic 1960s ballads, even if only one of them topped the chart in the U.S. Well, that's it for this story. Be well. Do good things.